Um, so my name is Gareth. I'm a, uh, uh, about to embark on a new MND Scotland funded uh, research project. Um, so the project is utilising what we call induced pluripotent stem cells. So these are uh, a type of stem cell that we can generate from skin samples from, um, from people, from health individuals and from ALS patients. And then what we can do is turn those stem cells into motor neurons in a dish. So essentially we can use these special stem cells that have come from patients to study um, the function of motor neuron disease affected cells um, in the lab. So the kind of work that we do is we look at the electrical signals that these um, stem cell derived motor neurons generate. So those electrical signals are the signals that would normally control muscle contraction and help us move. And of course we know that that's um, lost in MND. So in the project that we're really excited to have just had funded by MND Scotland, we're actually looking at the interactions between two types of cells in the spinal cord that are affected by MND. One is obviously the motor neurons, but the other is a special type of cell called a glial cell. So these are cells that sit around the motor neurons and support them in their normal job. Um, but it seems that although normally they support the motor neurons, sometimes they're also um, damaging to the motor neurons. So um, in the disease situation in MND, they seem to turn to a sort of negative factor um, in the disease. So we're trying to understand how is it that these other cells, these so-called so glial cells, how do they negatively affect the motor neurons? Um, how are they involved in the, the loss of the normal functioning of motor neurons in the disease? So to get these specialized stem cells from people, we use skin cells. So these are literally small sections of, of very small samples, biopsies from someone's skin. Um, and so uh, all cells in the body, skin cells, neurons, all these different cells that make up the body, they originally come from stem cells. So that's what's initially there in the embryo. Um, so the stem cells have the ability to turn to any part of our bodies, essentially. And that's the great um, benefit to being able to produce stem cells um, just from a simple, very small skin biopsy from people and from patients. So once we have those stem cells, thanks to knowledge of how we normally develop, we can provide certain stimulus, certain signals to make the stem cells turn into the type of cell we want to study. So often, of course, for motor neuron disease, that's turning them into a motor neuron. So we can study motor neurons isolated in the lab, um, and we can control their environment, and we can control which other cells that they're grown with. So, so our hope is that if we can understand how these special glial cells affect the motor neurons and what's the negative um, signaling between those, that that then becomes a really important target for new therapy. So that's what we're all about. We're trying to use this human cell model in the lab to really come up with understanding of what happens in the disease, but really importantly, what should we be targeting? What, where should we target new drug design? Um, and if we can find new targets, then, then you know, Others can take that on board and we can hopefully come up with some, some real beneficial treatments for the disease because as we know there's really nothing right now that's, that's able to really change the course of the disease.